Hey guys, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. And this is a crossover from the Do-It-Yourself World uh, YouTube channel. Somebody sent me this USB soldering iron and um, having a wife at home, it got put away for a while and I finally found it. So to the guy who sent this to me, I want to apologize that you haven't seen this right away. But being married has um, some side effects on occasion. Anyway, I now have this USB soldering iron that I've been wanting to try out. And now I found it. It's going to stay in my electronics lab from now on. I've been quite curious to see how this works. So you've got here, obviously, a power cable. You've got the soldering pen. And you've got a, a cover for the tip protective cover okay and a little uh, protective stand and a tiny chunk of solder which we won't use right now that's very little so I've been curious to see how this works now in instructions it simply says to turn it on press the tip so we're gonna see if I can solder a few electronics components using my USB soldering iron so I'm gonna get a little USB power pack over here and we'll be back in a minute guys I have a USB power supply here so this would be convenient for on-the-go uh, portability or in this case I don't have any power on this side of the electronics lab yet I have a full USB battery pack so we'll set this over here so as you can see I haven't had this out of the package yet Well, that's a very, very long cable. I'll give it that. There is a very, very long cable. I know you can't see it all, but um, impressive in itself. Let me see. I think that's like a, that's a five or six foot cable, probably five feet. So we'll plug this into the power supply and we'll plug this, take off the cover and plug this into the device. All right, turn on the power in the power supply, and there is a little red light. Okay. So, it has power. Oh, it's smoking. Wow, right away. So let me see, if I hit the button, does it turn it off? No, it just seems to have power. I don't know why it says in the instructions to hit... Oh, there it turned off. Okay, all right. So it's a touch button on off, push for on and off. So we have this little circuit that I'm going to solder together, my little aerial power gathering circuit, which I want to put together. I'm just setting up my uh, plans against the wall here. So we have the, I'm going to pull it off of here and solder it together as we go. So this junction here will go to the antenna. Let me grab a little piece of wire for the output. Pull these capacitors out and I'm going to try to twist them together a little bit. And this is going to be a permanent aerial uh, electric generator device that I will be experimenting with. Whether it really works or not remains to be seen. But let's hook this all up so we have everything together at least. Okay, I'll turn them over. Now, I hope you can see this very well. I'm using my GoPro and experimentally working with it. Oh, I just picked that up and it turned on. Let's see here. It's hard to believe that a 5 volt USB soldering iron could really work. I find it just hard to believe. So let's see what we get here. It's not steaming. Oh, yeah, it's hot. Look at that. It's hot. I can't believe it. Alright, let's solder these components together. 
And it looks like, yes, it did solder the components together. Look at that. I'm surprised. I need a little rag. Alright, and shut it off. Does it shut off? Uh, it doesn't. I'm not sure yet exactly how that operates. Just to touch it to turn on. Anyway, so there's the antenna. And then my circuit fell over. We have here a diode connects to one side. Of course I have tiny, tiny little wires here to deal with. You know what? I'm gonna get my new diode so I have more longer legs to work with here. Be right back. Okay guys, I've twisted my diodes together. I'm gonna touch, let me see, push the button. The USB power goes off if you don't have your device on. Okay, using a USB power pack is, uh, there we go. Using an external USB power pack is has to have a load on it or it'll shut off. So that's an interesting setup there. So, how fast does it heat up right now? Look at that right now oh, oh wow I cannot believe this that is fast that is incredible that is just amazing Does it shut itself off why did it shut itself off I'll have to figure out how that works with the heating is it still hot nope it shut itself off I must have bumped it I'll have to get used to not touching it there we go. Now it's on. Oops, see, I keep touching it. I have to get used to not touching that power button. Boy, it's hot right now. You turn that on and it's hot right now. I am amazed. I hope this shows up on the camera. This is impressive. Shut it off. Uh, I have to figure out how to turn it on and off. There, it's off. Okay, it takes a second to respond to me. Very impressive. Res Phew hot right now. I need to get a rag out here. I, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't exactly intending on soldering. I need to get a rag out here to keep that tip clean or a sponge or something. Whoops, I touched it again. I turned it on. That's going to take some getting used to on that tip. Turn it off. Interesting. Alright, I want to put some more parts together and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've wound the capacitors together, and I'm just simply now going to hook up the last three leads on here and twist them together on my little energy gathering device. Energy from the atmosphere, they claim. I haven't had energy from the atmosphere yet, but I did have energy from my own self. I don't know how exactly that happened, but go check out my video where I tried this the other day and I was producing electricity with my own body in this very same circuit. I find it very odd, I'm not quite sure how that worked, but I was producing electricity with my body. And i got to wind these two together and that will be the earth grounding point. Okay, so I'll twist these around. And then wrap this onto here. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to wrap this up. Okay, plug the power back in here, turn on the device, and we'll solder the final couple points. I'm starting to get the idea that this thing will, it, I think, I think it has the thermal shut off because it looks like sometimes it shuts itself off. It sure heats up fast. I am quite impressed. I wish all my soldering irons were heating up that fast. Very, very impressive. Yeah, see, it shut itself off, so I think there's a thermal shutoff. Um, protective. Oh, there it came back on again. Yeah. It protects itself from overheating and self regulates. So that red light is showing you. 
I thought it was me bumping it at first, since obviously this is my first time using this. Um, but it's not. It stays hot though for a minute. Let me see if that kicks back on while I'm soldering in. It's still hot, although it's losing the... Uh, there it goes. Is it going to kick back on? Hmm? You going to kick back on? There we go. Yep, it does. It kicks on and off on its own. I see how it... That's a thermal protective circuit built inside. Well, there we go. I just soldered an entire circuit together using this uh, USB soldering iron. I'm going to clean the tip off real quick with some cardboard, so forgive me. I'm off camera for a minute there. There we go. There we have it, guys. Really cool device. I, I am truly surprised and impressed that this tiny little USB-powered soldering iron can solder and heats up that fast. Wow, I did not expect that. Well, there we got a little circuit now, guys. An aerial... Uh, energy collector um, based on the Nikola Tesla design where he had a big metal plate in the air and then an earth ground and um, actually this would connect the, there's a metal plate in the air connected with an insulated wire to earth ground and this connects in somewhere in between that line and this circuit has its own earth ground separate and theoretically you can get power out but there we have a little circuit built with the USB powered soldering iron and I again am so surprised and impressed I did not expect that at all well thank you very much for sending that to me um, really amazing tool really cool Troy from the do-it-yourself world electronics talk to you guys later